What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA Tech Plus certification exam. So let's get into it. In this video, you're going to learn about some more common computing devices and their purposes such as vehicles, IP, security cameras, streaming media devices, medical devices, exercise equipment, wearables, and various Internet of Things devices. All right, so let's start with vehicles. So modern vehicles are highly sophisticated computing devices. Advanced technology has transformed cars, trucks, and other transportation systems into smart vehicles with multiple computing purposes, such as offering navigation and GPS. So most vehicles today come equipped with GPS systems for navigation, offering route planning, traffic updates, and points of interest. They also offer entertainment systems. So infotainment systems provide music, podcasts, and video entertainment through touch screens that often support voice control and app integration. They also offer safety and monitoring. So computing devices and vehicles handle everything from airbag deployment to anti-lock braking systems and lane departure warnings. Advanced driver assistance systems, they provide collision warnings, automatic braking, and adaptive cruise control. And then there's vehicle diagnostics. So onboard computers, they monitor the engine performance, oil levels, and tire pressure. These computer Computers help diagnose issues early and often connect to external devices for more detailed analysis. So essentially, vehicles are becoming increasingly autonomous, leveraging artificial intelligence and sensor data to provide better user experience and to improve safety. Now let's move on to IP and security cameras. So an IP camera or an internet protocol camera is a type of digital video camera that transmits data over an IP network. And the key purposes of an IP security camera include the following. It offers surveillance and security. So IP cameras are widely used in security systems to monitor properties, provide live footage, and enable remote viewing through the internet. Then it offers motion detection and alerts. These cameras often include motion detection, sending alerts to users or security systems when unexpected activity is detected. And then it offers remote monitoring so users can view live or recorded footage from anywhere using a smartphone or a computer, making IP cameras an integral part of modern surveillance solutions. So unlike traditional closed circuit television cameras, IP cameras offer a higher resolution, easier installation, and remote capabilities, enhancing overall security and monitoring options options. Next, let's discuss streaming media devices. So a streaming media device is used to access online media content, such as video, music, and other digital entertainment. The common devices include things like Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, and Apple TV. These devices allow users to stream movies, TV shows, and music from platforms like Netflix, Hulu, and Spotify. They also include smart TVs and streaming boxes. So many televisions today come with built-in streaming capabilities and enabling users to install apps, play games, and access content without needing a separate device. And some common devices include what is called Chromecast. And this device allows users to cast or mirror content from a mobile device or computer to a television. So streaming devices are designed to simplify access to digital content, providing easy to use interfaces and enabling on-demand media consumption. Next up are medical devices. So computing devices in healthcare have transformed patient care and monitoring. And common examples and purposes include the following. You have patient monitoring systems. So devices like heart rate monitors, glucose meters, and blood pressure machines are equipped with sensors and microprocessors to track vital signs continuously. They have imaging devices. Equipment such as MRI scanners, CT machines, and x-ray systems use computing technology to analyze and display detailed medical images for diagnosis. Then there's wearable health devices. So devices like insulin pumps and pacemakers are embedded with microcontrollers to monitor and manage health conditions in real time. And then we have telemedicine devices. With advances in technology, remote diagnostics and consultations are now possible. And devices like digital stethoscopes and portable ECGs connect to computers and transmit data to healthcare professionals. So medical devices have evolved to not only assist in diagnostics, but also provide real-time health monitoring and intervention, improving patient outcomes and accessibility to care. 
All right, next, let's talk about exercise equipment. So exercise equipment is becoming increasingly smart, incorporating computing to improve fitness and training. And examples and purposes include the following. You have smart treadmills and bikes. So devices like Peloton and Nordic Track offer interactive workouts, performance tracking, and access to live or recorded classes. And these machines collect user data to track progress and provide feedback. You have fitness trackers and sensors. So equipment like smart weights and connected row machines track metrics such as reps, heart rate, and calories burned, often syncing with mobile apps and analysis. And then we have what are called smart home gyms. So devices like Tonal and Mirror, they provide guided workouts, strength training, and personalized coaching through built-in screens and connected sensors. So smart exercise equipment enhances the fitness experience by providing tailored workouts, real-time feedback, and progress tracking to help users achieve their health goals. Next, let's look at wearable devices. So wearables are computing devices designed to be worn on the body, often for health, fitness, or convenience purposes. So we have devices like smartwatches. So devices like the Apple Watch and Fitbit, they track fitness data, display notifications, and can even run small applications. They monitor steps, heart rate, sleep patterns, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And we have fitness bands, and these are simpler than smartwatches. Fitness bands focus on activity tracking, offering insights into exercise habits and health metrics. Then we have smart glasses and augmented reality. So wearables like Google Glass, they provide hands-free access to information, camera functionality, and augmented reality overlays for enhanced real-world interactions. So wearable devices provide quick access to data, notifications, and health tracking, making them valuable tools for fitness enthusiasts and tech-savvy users alike. Finally, let's dive into the Internet of Things devices. So IoT, this refers to a network of interconnected devices that collect, exchange, and act on data. In the context of common home devices, these IoT devices make homes smarter and more efficient. And some examples include the following. You have home appliances like smart refrigerators. They monitor food, inventory, suggest recipes, and even let users see inside without opening the door. We also have smart wash and dryers. They allow remote start and stop of cycles and they provide maintenance alerts. Then we have home automation devices like smart lights. They enable users to control brightness, color, and scheduling remotely. Also, you have smart plugs and outlets. They allow users to control non-smart devices by connecting them to a smart plug for automation. Then we have smart thermostats like Nest, where they learn user schedules, optimize temperature settings for comfort and energy efficiency, and they can be controlled remotely. We have security systems with smart alarms and sensors that can monitor doors, windows, and motion, sending alerts to homeowner smartphones when unusual activity is detected. We also have cameras and door sensors where they provide live video feeds, two-way audio, and they record footage for security. We also have home assistance devices like Amazon Echo, Google Home, and Apple HomePod, where they respond to voice commands, control other smart devices, provide information, and serve as a hub for home automation. Also, we have smart locks that allow for keyless entry through smartphones, codes, or biometrics, and they can be remotely locked or unlocked. And then we also have video doorbells like Ring and Nest Hello, and they provide live video feeds of who's at the door. They send motion alerts, and they allow to two-way communication with visitors. So IoT devices, they aim to make everyday tasks more convenient, improving home security, energy efficiency, and providing ease of use to information and controls. All right, to sum all of this up, we've covered a range of computing devices where we got vehicles are becoming smarter with features like navigation and safety. We have IP security cameras that provide surveillance and remote monitoring. We have streaming media devices that enable access to digital content and integrate with smart homes. We have medical devices that improve patient care through monitoring and diagnostics. We have exercise equipment that uses computing to track workouts and offer interactive fitness experiences. We have wearables that enhance connectivity and health tracking on the go. And then we have the internet of things that connects our homes, offering automation, convenience, and security. So understanding these devices is fundamental for those of you who are preparing for the CompTIA Tech Plus certification exam. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get into this wonderful check on learning. So which of the following devices is primarily used to monitor and control energy consumption in homes by adjusting temperature settings? Would this be a smartwatch, an IP camera, a smart thermostat, or streaming media devices? Of course, the answer would be a smart thermostat. They are designed to control the heating and cooling systems in the home, where they often allow remote control via a smartphone application to adjust settings for energy efficiency and comfort. Next question, which type of computing device is typically used to stream content such as movies, music, and TV shows over the internet? Would it be a medical device, a streaming media device, a wearable device, or an internet protocol camera or an IP camera? And of course, the answer would be a streaming media device. So devices like Roku, Amazon Fire Stick, and Apple TV are used to connect to the internet and stream various types of multimedia content to a display or speakers, offering entertainment and access to online services. And then our final question is, which of the following is a primary characteristic of wearable devices? Would it be they are stationary and usually integrated into a building? They are designed to be worn on the body and often track health and fitness. They require complex installation and are mainly used for home automation, or they serve as a main security system to monitor the premises using video feeds. And of course, the answer is they are designed to be worn on the body and often track health and fitness. So wearable devices such as smart watches and fitness trackers are meant to be worn on the body. They often track physical activity, monitor health metrics and provide notifications, making them highly portable and useful for fitness and health monitoring.